welcome back to another episode of Quinny Connection. This week we have more about Food for Learning, the Quinny Ballet School of Canada, and joining us from her home about Gallery 121, located just around the corner of our downtown Belleville studio on 48 Bridge Street, is Terry Hart with one of her paintings in the background. Terry, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure, thank you, Lindsay. What art do you specialize in? What can you tell us about what's happening in the background there at home? Okay, well, I work with encaustic, which is basically I melt wax on a hot plate and I add pigment to it and then I apply it to a board. Now, as soon as you apply it, it hardens. So you have to use things such as a blow to torch, an iron or a hot air gun to move it around. And the beauty of it is as you layer it, you can scrape it. So you can sort of get a sculpture effect to it as well. Um, I used to do oils for ages, but the process of doing encaustic, because you, first of all, you're working with beeswax and it smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. It gives your home a wonderful smell. And um, even though it's really frustrating because you can't necessarily say, okay, I'm going to put a, a house here because the wax can flow that way instead of that way, whenever you're heating it up. So the lesson in painting is going with the flow, and that is what we're all learning these days, is to go with the flow. So, Terry, when did you get started with Gallery 121? When I moved to Belleville, which was four and a half years ago, I was formerly in Toronto, and I went around to the different galleries, and I loved the idea that it was a co-op gallery. And you need to be adjudicated to enter, and so uh, I was... I was accepted in and the fact that you're working with a very talented, supportive group of people and having just retired, the fact that I could uh, go out a couple of days a week and, and actually sit in the gallery and meet people and talk about my art was very appealing to me. And a brand new show, Terry, what are now on the walls currently at Gallery 121? We have a Sherry Rasmussen who does fabric art, and I'm sorry you're not actually in the gallery, but I did send some in images. Mm. She does these massive fabric works with layers and layers of different colors and fabrics, and the gallery is just brilliant and bright and exploding with this color. And we have gallery member who gets to display their work during those six weeks and so we have Barry Argyle so he does works in acrylic they're very abstract very bold um, uh, very thought-provoking and they're up in mainly in the back room and then interspersed in all of that are some of the members artists images that they have contributed for this six weeks how many member artists are a part of gallery 121 collectively just roughly Terry we have 15 and two of them are lifetime members. Those are people who have been there basically since inception, which I think was, it was 1990. And at that time they were at 121 Dundas Street. And that's why we got the name 121. And so we still have two of those members with us who were there at the beginning, um, Bunny Bates and Don Pinder. And of course, those of us who are here now are very grateful for all of the things that they've been able to pass on to us as far as keeping a business going. How can artists become members with Gallery 121? What's the process for artists looking to get more involved with a nonprofit? So there's two ways they can become involved. One is to become an actual member. And to do that, you have to create a portfolio of your work or a CD and you bring it in and a group of the presiding artists will have a look through, look at your works and feel if it fits with the gallery. And, and, I, and it's hard to say, it just has to look professional because we're so eclectic. We have fabric, we have, we have one, one woman who did her art with bubble gum <laughs> and did bubble gum pieces all over the place and um, acrylic, oils, uh, sculptures. So it just has to have a real sense of professional feel and we do do, you know, eclectic works. So it's, it's adjudicated. And then uh, should the person um, w want to continue, there is a fee of um, presently $70 a month to pay, which helps to pay 
go towards the rent. And you also must take on certain responsibilities in the gallery, whether it be um, secretary advertising, um, uh, vacuuming the floor, washing windows, so that trying to keep the gallery running smoothly. So that you can do that way as a member artist, or you can decide, I'm just going to try this out and just be a guest artist for the six weeks. And people from the public can come in and talk to them about their art. And we promote that with our ads. A lot of, many of the artists like to experiment with different media and they will try it uh, doing collages or, or, or different small works just to see what the, um, the, the audience's impression is. All right, Terry Hart, a member of Gallery 121, once again located right here in downtown Belleville at 48 Bridge Street. For more information on viewing your art online, Terry, where can we go, especially with you and the other members with the gallery? Well, you can go to gallery121artists.com, which brings you to our website. And on that website, there are each of the individual artists are listed, and you can go in and you can have a look at what they have done in the past and what they have done recently. Um, many of us have our own um, web page or website as well. I'm at beesneesartistry.com, but there will be links to that on our main gallery website. And we are also on Facebook, so Gallery 121 Artists. Thanks, Terry, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome, thank you.